Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to our Alephian Races playthrough of Starbound. When we last left off, we were getting ready to do the Grand Sovereign Temple. And what voice are we doing for Tuanak here? That is a good question. Alright, let's go. Uh, oh, a visitor! Same voice as every other voice, apparently. Welcome to the temple, George. It's lovely to have you here. Are you here to learn about our venerable god, Cluex? He's actually wondrous, but whatever. One thing, though, please don't touch anything with, you know, not all people are trustworthy. It's very disturbing, George. Please do come in. Mind your head, though, and your feet, and also your internal organs. Those are very important, too, George. Don't let your internal organs get destroyed. Anyway, these are some ceremonial masks. They have the Cluex's cosmic power stuff going on in them. Very good. Here's a sacrificial altar. Did you know I was once going to be a sacrifice, George? But then everyone left when I woke up. There was no one to be found at all. So I guess that just kind of made me the caretaker of this place, George. Also, this is a pretty cool statue. It's an old avian warrior. He's kind of dead and all, so he doesn't really use these spears anymore. But when he was alive, he would hunt, George. He would hunt all the bad people. Because Cluex punishes the bad people. And he never does anything but give gifts and treats to good people. At least that's what my mama told me. Anyway, please don't get into any trouble. I'm just gonna have a nap here and there's some good, good, uh, good artifacts up there. Mm. Just gonna have a rest there. Anyway, that was probably like, on the list of my terrible cringe-inducing voices, that's probably... That's probably up there, but I thought it fit. A little, just a little slow. Tuanak seems like the kind of guy who wouldn't quite pick up on the whole blood death cult thing that Cluax has going on there. Though, I don't know if I really managed to pull that off quite right. I have a very limited vocal range, as you've probably noticed, but, eh, what the heck. If it gets people to laugh just at its horrible horribleness, then I did something right. Also, that... Uh, the artwork, basically, there in the background. You know, with all the little blocks set up that way, little avian clue X face going on there, pretty cool. I'm apparently not the brightest bulb in the light bulb factory myself, so I can't really, can't really get on to Anak there too much, can I? Anyway. Of course, also in my head, to Anak's voice sounds a little deeper than what's probably actually gonna show up on camera, so that's gonna be interesting. Let's try not to get killed here. Now, what's going to be real fun is trying to figure out how to do a voice for Lana. Did I even do a voice for Lana in the original vanilla series? I don't think I did. I, I generally don't, if it's a female voice, just because, apparently, I don't mind defending literally everyone else as long as they're not female. That's weird. Anyway, let's uh, give this guy a couple of pokes and try to catch him, because I think he's part of the collection from monsters, maybe? thought that guy was... Or he went into the collection. Let's take a look at our monster collection anyway. Done a bit of collecting off camera. Apparently not. Huh. Or wait, 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 wait. Collections. He is a statue though, right? There is a statue for him in here somewhere. And there's a boss. There's Nox. Ah, there he is, right there. Alright, and I still have the mod that lets you turn... Turn, uh, whatchamacallits into other whatchamacallits. Turn statues into, or turn captured pets into statues. That's it. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, don't, don't stab me. That's not very nice. It's very rude. I mean, I'm stabbing you, but that's only because you, you were trying to stab me first. Probably. The old, did Han shoot first? Did Greedo shoot first? Depends on whether you believe George Lucas or larger fan base. I don't know. I get the impression that the fan base generally agrees that Han shot first and that they like it better that way. Where he's Lucas himself. Oh dear. Dropped some scorpions on my head. Well, that's not very nice. I mean, I don't think there's a statue for scorpions, is there? Doesn't look like it. So, moving on then. Still haven't got around to getting a light augment, and we probably- Oh, good job, Gaslight. 
probably won't actually get one until until thank god NPCs can't take damage from spikes and stuff that would be very frustrating wouldn't it all right boing 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 and wow I actually got it on my first try that never happens let's see I think I can hear something in so what Moving on. Let's uh, let's leave that terrible place and never come back. And uh, drop down into. I mean, the water's a friendly place. Nothing could ever hurt us in the water, you know, except for these giant man-eating fish. And of course, technically, I guess you could say I'm not a man. I'm whatever the word for a male avocin is. But uh, that is also that's just technicality, really, at this point. Bloop. Bloop. Okay. Secret passages. Cool stuff. Fun times. Temple games. It's all good. Also, I'm almost thinking I should have leveled up my gear a little bit more before actually coming down here. And yes, I am actually going to ignore, or do my best to ignore. I should read these, shouldn't I? I should. Get, get out of the way. Yeah, you know what, let's read these codexes. I mean, what's the point in picking them up if we're not going to read them? My name is Papan, the last stargazer of the Great Sovereign Temple. I leave tomorrow and commend the temple to its ancient guards and to a trustworthy caretaker. I write these words for posterity as they will no longer be passed beak to beak. Or, yeah, passed on beak to beak, stargazer to stargazer. This temple was built to house the gift. An item of great wonder handed to us by Cluex, our great and heavenly god who created the all. He gave us the gift at the dawn of the universe so that its power would make his people strong. It will remain here. It will remain safe. It will remain secret. Well, that's good. The Sovereign is by far the most impressive of the six great temples. It is the largest, the oldest, and the only one not given over to ruin. While the others have crumbled, Sovereign has survived, unplundered, unpillaged, untouched by the ravages of time. It has stood, protecting its treasures since before memory. It is said all six great temples held relics of Cluex. Perhaps the Sovereign holds something of genuine power and importance. That's a good question. Who wrote that? Didn't, you know, there was no citations there. Citation needed. Anyway. So, yeah, I've been also uh, farming up materials off-camera, by the by, just in case anyone is interested in hearing that as we make our way down here. And we examine things, so let's see here. I'm not even going to do voices while trying to talk. This place is sort of homely, minus the abominable spikes, of course. Obviously. Yes, that is pretty terrible. I mean, spikes are pretty gross. Pretty awful. Gonna heal up again. More spikes. Lovely. That's exactly what I look forward to when I get up out of bed in the morning and I just stab myself on them because apparently I'm some kind of, some kind of masochist who loves it when I am, or when pain is inflicted upon me for some ungodly reason. Yeah, you guys follow me down that way. Good job. I'm gonna, I mean, you know what, I'm kind of neglecting my duties, aren't I? I should be playing fashion bound here so we can enjoy while we're here. Enjoy it while we can, as that is truly the most important thing in life, isn't it? All right, what, what terrors are waiting down here? No terrors? Well, that's unusual. Oh, there, monster bird thing. Also, let us eat. Oh, I can't eat. All right, well, I could circle all the way back if I really wanted to and do the fire thing. Also, secret passage. I don't think I've ever shown off finding on camera, but, you know, here it is. Some tribal feathers. More backwear. Now, in here's an interesting thing. In older versions of the game, there was actually another codex here. But that codex is no more. Just, uh... Just as a little hint. You know what? I should go. Oh, I can't go back. Too late. Alright. 
I mean, I could just admin my way back there and then collect everything in one playthrough, but that feels kind of cheesy, doesn't it? Probably. Let's, uh, damn, this thing is hard. Probably should have upgraded to it. Whoa, dear. Oh, there you are, George. I'm so relieved you're safe. Actually, I shouldn't be here either. I've not been this deep in the temple before. Truthfully, I'm, I'm, uh, lost too, George. But between us, I'm sure we can find a way back. It's, not, it's just not quite right. You see, it's at times like these I wish I had spent my childhood actually practicing voice acting more. You have to check around through there, George. And I'll hunt about for an exit on this side. Yeah. It's just... It's just not quite right, is it? I mean, it's not gonna stop me from doing it, by the way. I mean... You know, I could end up scaring people away from the channel with my horrible, horrible voice acting. But... It feels right to me, so I do it. So... Yes. Like I said before, I mean, I've apparently for life scarred some people with my, uh... <laughs> my rendition of Nuru's voice. So, uh, I mean, there is that, I guess, to be. Alright. You know, I've done this, like, five times, and I never remember the password. Actually, no, it's not that hard. It's just bloop, 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 and bloop. There we go. Not so tough. Got our avian ship door. We got this little monument over here. We have a new hat. We're gonna need so many more head mannequins. This is over. Hey, get, get the heck out of the way. So many dead and bird, man. What a waste. You're telling me, Ada. And, uh, Azion. That's your name. Ada and Azion. At least as close as I'm ever gonna get to pronouncing your name right, probably. So there is that. Are you guys gonna follow me down? Oh dear. I don't know why I took that damage unnecessarily, but... I did, so... Alright, any more cool secrets and things? Doesn't look like it. I believe there are four codexes in this mission. We've only found two so far. Of course, then again, one of those is probably on the fire path, actually, now that I think about it. So, there is that. More of these occult doodaddies down here. Occult doodaddies. Acassus people. You know, it really makes you think to yourself, like, what, what did these guys do after... After the rune was destroyed. Like, they worship the rune. You almost have to wonder if it's going to be retcon that Azra wasn't actually their leader. And that the Akasis is far older. And that Nox is, you know, just some dumb kid, basically. I mean, she doesn't seem that young. She actually, frankly, seems like she's, you know, like a 70-year-old smoker or something. Or <laughs> something. That's, that's terrible. But, uh, like, I don't know. I mean... I thought she was a man when I first saw her, which is probably, probably very insulting to women everywhere that I would make such a terrible, terrible mistake. But, I mean, come on! Like, it's not that, you know, not that obvious who or what she is. She doesn't know what she is. She's just some scared child who still doesn't, you know, is, she's, tra she's basically still in the denial phase or maybe the anger or bargaining phase of grief. When it comes to, uh, like, Al. Figuring out, you know, what her place in the world is after her parents were brutally murdered. Probably by Florins. It's always the Florins, man. Oh dear. Like, seriously. Everything bad in the Starbound universe can be traced back to the Florins. I mean, if you, you know, if you try hard enough, anyway. Yeah, that's... Real informative. Real... Real useful. Good job, Gaslight. Let me your commentary. It's t that's totally not going to... Alienate your viewers. Oh, cool. A staff. I like staffs. Anyway, basically, clearly, ignore everything I've been saying. I'm clearly not all there. Oh, I see what you were up to, George, the whole time. You're here to serve Cluax. I mean, you simply couldn't have gotten this far without his guidance. It's a sign that this artifact is here for you. The Avalite Crystal something Cluax, please let me join you, George. I'm a dedicated and enthusiastic servant of Cluax. I promise I'm worthy. Yeah, sure, why not?
Birdman Beam's not very strong. Where have you been this whole time? You've been getting horribly mangled. Horribly mangled, I tells you. Alright, a desert expedition. These avian guardians are ferocious. It has been days since I first entered this labyrinthine temple, and I have not slept once for fear of them. In all my years of marauding... Marauding? That's not how you pronounce it. It's marauding. I've never come across such fearsome creatures, though creatures is an inaccurate description of them. They should be inert, formed of stone and crystals as they are, but they seem to live. Are they mindless automata? Or does some purpose guide them? I was told stories of golems as a child. I know I am here to rob them of their treasures. Their red eyes haunt me in the darkness. Today I caught a glimpse of a monstrous individual, fully twice as big as any other I've seen. It slept in a cavernous chamber, dimly lit by gemstones. Its face was that of a bird, and its body was adorned with crystal feathered wings. Perhaps it is their god, Cluex? I could almost believe it here in the darkness. Maybe it is his av- Maybe. Maybe it is his avatar. I will leave it to slumber. That is a wise choice. A teleporter. Frank Cluex, George. Oh, he's so wonderful. Isn't he, George? I think Cluex is so great. Did you know that I was marked to be a sacrifice once? It was so lovely, George. They said I would be a sacrifice to please Cluex and keep the heavens from falling down on my head. And everyone else's head, for that matter. Isn't Cluex wonderful? And so on and so forth. Continuously insulting to Onyx intelligence. Ah, Frozen Stars. That's our next stop. Excellent. I'm actually feeling very bad. <laughs> very terrible. I feel like I'm being a terrible human being this episode. I should be ashamed of myself. Let's, let's, uh, console ourselves by killing some people. Obviously, I've been horribly traumatized by that human who was buried alive with the avian, but you know what? That leads to an interesting question. Because the implication is that all the other temples of Cluex have become ruins. So how in the Nine Hells did, uh... What's his face? And a uh, hello. It uh, how is that human still alive? Is what I'm saying. Oh dear. Oh, I'm on fire. Um, I don't think that door is supposed to be open. All right. I mean, who am I to question it? Oh dear. Top of the fire, man. Oh dear. I'll just hang out up here for a while. Oh dear. Oh, and he's dead. Alright. So, yeah, we fixed... We fixed our problem. We managed... We managed to kill him after all. Let's get out of here before I die horribly to fire. Oh dear. Please die. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Wasted all my delicious, delicious bandages on that, but... You know what? We did it. Let's wrap this episode up by following the fire path of the Grand Sovereign Temple. See ya in a moment. Alright, and down we go. Into the path of the fire and flood and ever horrible, horrible burning things that we do not like to speak about as they go fliffity floffity and floofity and just get a little bit of... Just a little bit of singerizing there. Alright. I mean, we're on fire, but I'm sure... I'm sure that won't in any way come back to haunt us in any way. Alright, I do believe that is everything. Oh dear. Ah, what the heck. In for a penny, in for a pound. I always say. And whoop. I feel a little too fast. Oh well. Alright. Down we go. Grab the treasure. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep, there's no other secrets right here except for those secrets right there. Oh, come on, get down. There we go. Alright, skipped over the hard part. Whoa there, Jimmy. Hold on, hold on. I'm not done with you yet, sir. Alright. Alright, easy, easy, easy. I'm a little bit too fast for you. I'm sure it'll be fine at the end of the day. All right, and that's, uh, that concludes. You know, I still feel like I'm missing a codex. 
Yeah, I mean, we got the bunny mask. Hmm. Unless that fourth codex that I was referring to earlier has been removed from the game, or maybe I just missed it. All right, I'll have to... I'll have to look into that again. Also, where did my, uh, where did my minions go? I am, uh, most... most displeased by their disappearance and their lack of, uh, you know, working with me here, but oh well. Anyway, that, that's, that concludes the avian temple portion of this episode, so away we go. Alright, so I guess next time we're gonna have to do a little bit more explorerizing, and by ex excuse me, by explorerizing, I mean we're gonna need to do, uh, we're gonna have to create some more bandages, probably, which we can actually make right now, can't we? I think we can. Where are those bandages? Never remember where I craft them, for some reason. You'd figure... Ah, there it is. Just need some lever and string. We've got plenty of lever and string. In fact, I've also got plenty of uh, crafting materials. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. We've got some salvaged uh, thingies, so we'll be able to do stuff with that in next-ish episode. All that in there. So, yeah. All right. So, that is that covers about that. We also have this lovely aquarium I've put in here. Did a little bit of fishing off-camera and also just kind of fiddling around with what I might like our, our ship to look like once it's... Like, as far as, uh, panels and stuff are concerned. Might want to repaint some of that and make things look a little bit nicer, but for now... I mean, we've got a pretty good thing going here as we have a... Take a tumble into the hay, but that's gonna do it for this episode, so until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.